Hello YouTube, my name is Rod. I'm a federally licensed aviation maintenance technician, so I'm an airplane doctor. But I work out in the back, I've got a big place. I've been doing this since I was 8 years old and I'm 57 years old. I'm on Social Security, so you got to learn how to do stuff on a thousand dollars a month. Okay, I ran into a beautiful Honda over here. It's a 1988 Honda Civic DX three-door hatchback. Very rare, actually. And I came upon a problem. I wanted to uh, replace the shocks and the springs, but they're $100 a piece for the springs. So, <laughs> I got a lowering kit, and that's part of the lowering kit over there. But uh, the problem is, sometimes people that don't have money will go ahead and take acetylene and shrink these springs. These are the original springs and uh, they're not in very good condition since I went ahead and cut them with the cutting wheel. I don't do that at home by the way unless you've got a thousand years experience but uh, they're squished down like that and you can't get the spring compressor in between here. You go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto, my favorite, and get a spring compressor and it won't fit in here to compress the springs together. There's on the spring compressor there's a, there's a rail on this side and there's a rail on the other side and you take a socket and blah, 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 you know tighten it down blah, 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 and, and it shrinks it and then you can get the hat off. When you take it out of the car this is the front shock by the way the shock strut assembly when you, you you could take these these two nuts off here but in no case ever remove the top the I call it a Jesus nut because if you take it off without the spring being compressed or cut with a cutting wheel you're gonna meet Jesus not a very good idea unless you want to meet him I suppose but don't try this at home but when you live out in the back I mean I got a big place and and uh, I got to do things the way I got to do it. I can't get a spring compressor in there, so what I did, look from an engineering point of view, I just got to get the tool. Uh, there's just a, a, a basic cutting wheel on there. And I started from down this end, right here, all the way up against where the shock, the, the shock is going to be cut on the base because you know, it doesn't work I'm going to throw it away anyway recycle it actually and um, you just carefully cut cut you should have like a piece of uh, chipboard or plywood in front of your chest and a face mask and a hard hat and some really really seriously good uh, glasses or goggles and maybe even two pair but it's it's not going to do anything probably not in a million gazillion years except cut the bottom part of the spring and what a noise it makes be prepared go real slow be prepared and it goes pump real loud like that and but it just sits there and makes that loud noise and scares you, you gotta go change your pants so uh, that but if you start down here it's very safe and then it's safe for me because I'm a nutcase <laughs> and then I cut the next one and it goes pop not quite so loud not not so hard and they, in no case do they fly off or anything and you just make your way but don't go towards the wide part always when you want to do your cut I wonder if this is in focus if not I'll redo it and if you want to do your cut try try to make the cuts for the coils you gotta get the coils off so you gotta cut them two or three times to pull the pieces of the coil out and and if, if you if you go too high it'll make that popping sound again because there's still spring tension until you cut like I cut one two three four I cut four parts of the spring on the very bottom see that's the bottom that's what sits in the wishbone and uh, it, it just pop 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 and it, it gets easier and easier and then you test it because it's real loose it's it's not going to do any damage to anything but you have to salvage these parts you're gonna if you got a lowering kit like I have I, I'm not going to use the spring the lowering kit comes with a, a, a lower spring the best best lowering kit kind is the adjustable 
on the highest setting it's just like your OEM if you make it lower you can drop your car as much as four to five inches depending on the kit the kit has to be compatible with your make and model and year now this over here you need to keep the hat and the washers that are in there the kits don't come with washers the, the shock comes with two nuts uh, where's the the shock or the hat the hat comes with oh okay there it is it comes with one nut on on top of the new shock and the new shock lives inside over there inside the coil and there's a, a aluminum hat with a rubber seal like a mason jar but uh, that all lives inside of this major cap cover you could buy a kit with brand new ones of these but that's only if they're really seriously rusty and dangerous looking or the rubber is all spooged out and it's no good like that you can replace these they're about twenty dollars for a pair and uh, but these are fine so I'm gonna redo them so at home I wouldn't recommend doing it but I've done this all my life I've taken very very careful examination of what I'm gonna do before I do it and it seems to have worked out already for me a nice powerful vice mine's kinda small but it's in there good and it's laying on the table and I'm standing back over here when I'm cutting the coils because if anything happens at all this is gonna come flying off and go through somebody's house they will they'll go right through the wall so you have to be real kit don't ever just take this nut off if you take that nut off it's gonna go off and find somebody to kill so and it will it'll go right through them take your head clean off it will thanks YouTube this is my very first YouTube I appreciate you listening and watching and be safe that's the first thing don't let the boss say hurry up hurry up I need to get this out of here we need to bring another airplane in and it's like you hurry up you go eat lunch or something because I'm not gonna hurry up I'm going to be careful. See you very soon, YouTube.